Hey everybody, welcome to the Art Project. Glad you could be here. Appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, if you hit that little like button. Every time you hit that like button, a, a puppy finds a new home. So um, be sure to hit the like button. And I um, also want to thank everybody that has subscribed because because of you, I now have 4,444 subscribers. Just thought that was a cool number and should screenshot it. Uh, I'm going to be working on my Corviday book for this drawing. I'm going to do a raven on the next couple of pages. Uh, I'm going to protect them. I'm going to uh, protect the rest of the book by putting some sheets of paper up in here and then taping them together and taping off the book and all that sort of thing. Um, you can watch. You can see what I'm doing. I tried to shorten the video down to about 10 minutes. It took me about an hour and a half total uh, footage to get this or an hour and a half probably to draw it um, I think I got about an hour of footage um, so this is sped up about eight times I think I hope um, I'm working with new editing software so it is a little bit kind of crazy and I think it's a little bit crazy because of my computer um, speed or abilities I'm gonna have to look into it anyway um, I hope you all are drawing I hope you are making cool stuff um, I think if you are watching this video you may be creative minded creatively minded um, create a creative person anyway and if you are a creative person I hope you have an outlet for that creativity maybe you are a baker or a chef or a sculptor or a videographer or a product designer or a creator like um, maybe you create stuff and sell it on Etsy maybe you make your own t-shirts I'm not sure what you do obviously but uh, if you're a creative person I hope you're finding your creative outlet and I hope you are productive with it and in addition to being productive I also help you hope you are um, making a little bit of money I don't I forgot what I was trying to say right there I hope you're making a little bit of money off of it you don't necessarily have to be making money in order to be productive um, sometimes people make art simply for the sake of making art sometimes people make art just to give it away as gifts or um, make it for friends or make it for their home there's so many different reasons to make art some of you are just doing uh, book after book after book filled with uh, drawings and sketches and watercolors uh, that are just amazing and one day uh, people will look on back on it maybe it's your children or your children's children your grandkids um, maybe someone will come across it find it recognize you as an artist and your amazing abilities and make a movie about the unheard of artist known as you uh, or maybe you are already a famous artist and you are cranking stuff out there and you have found your niche in the world that we live in and you are making a living. I asked a friend one time, I was real concerned at the time, I was probably in my 20s and I was real concerned about uh, fame and glory as an artist because you know all my life I had heard of people like Andy Warhol and Leonardo da Vinci and thought you know they're famous people and they have they have uh, made a name for themselves in the world well he was when I asked him about it he was quick to ask me what kind of fame I was talking about did I want world fame worldwide fame international fame uh, or did I want national fame or did I want localized fame and then he pointed out that he was content to just be able to sell artwork to the people that lived in the city that he lived in uh, he was he said this because you don't really have to have international fame in order to make the artwork that you want to make and make a living at it you know if you can sell to the people that live in the city that you live in and it's enough to put food on the table pay your bills that's all you really need so 
I don't know if any of y'all have heard that before. I don't know if you're looking for worldwide fame or if you're just looking to make enough money to put food on your table. Um, I highly recommend that you um, put this all in perspective. Uh, the the really truly famous people out there like Andy Warhol and Leonardo da Vinci and Van Gogh and all of those, uh, they did not, I mean, some of them were famous in their lifetime, but more likely than that, they were famous after they died in retrospect, once uh, they had hit the history books sort of thing. Um, and not necessarily famous all over. Uh, even like Leonardo da Vinci, I think he was he had some amount of fame worldwide, but what was really important was that he had a patron that supported his artwork in just in his city or in Italy. Uh, and the same thing sort of true with uh, Andy Warhol. He had some amount of worldwide fame but what was really important were the people that sort of paid the bills for him. Not that everybody in the whole wide world knew him, but that there was somebody that was um, buying his artwork. And even that uh, is not necessarily important if you have another job. Maybe art is just your hobby. Maybe you just like making stuff, but you are really a uh, doctor or a lawyer or uh, an electrician or a plumber. Um, as long as you have another way to pay the bills and you can make art on your free time uh, as a hobby that's that's an excellent thing in and of itself so anyway I'm just kind of rambling on but I wanted to let you know that um, I enjoy making art just for the sake of making art I, I teach at a high school and I enjoy teaching at that high school and uh, it's really a big part of my life teaching at that high school and meeting all of the different kids that I meet and working with the different adults that I work with and making these YouTube videos for other uh, teachers to kind of help them out and so on so you know that's kind of what I do and that pays the bills and because of that I am able to uh, take part in some free time activities and just draw these birds that um, with the exception of the YouTube video of course that I'm making here um, nobody's really gonna see these birds it's in a book it's in my house or in my studio on a shelf and that's kind of it um, every now and then I'll find one that I really like and maybe put it on a red bubble page and you can buy it on a t-shirt or something but I don't know it's not really for all of that it is just because I like to make art and so uh, if you want to support me, uh, you can start by just hitting that like button. And if you really want to um, take it a little bit further, share my video. Uh, and if you want to really, really help me out, actually I don't even know if this is more helpful than liking the video, but you could go to the Red Bubble and you can buy some of my artwork on a t-shirt or a coffee mug or an iPhone case or a tote bag or journal cover or something like that. Whatever you want to do. You can even buy one in a frame or uh, in a block of glass or block of acrylic I think it is uh, so different ways to do that there but I mean like I said it's not all about that um, I just wanted to draw a bird I'm hoping that I can fill this book I think it would be super cool to have a book completely filled with artwork here so um, anyway as I, you just saw as I was working on this I had a um, clogged Speedball, not Speedball, Nico G Nib, Manga Nib. Got to replace it, putting a new one in there. So, yeah. I ran out, I forgot what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, just drawing. So right now in this book, I'm, I'm starting out kind of slow, just kind of getting a feel for it. Uh, right now, just Raven. This is a Raven. The last one I did was a cor uh, Magpie. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I don't know where this book is really going to go, but I hope you will stick with me through this journey. Uh, I don't know that I will record every page 
that I do in the book, but eventually I will do a walkthrough of the book uh, if I actually get it finished. Um, maybe y'all could help me with some of the research. Leave in the comments down below other kinds of um, Corvidae that you would like to see me draw. Give me a link to a picture of a Corvidae, a bird in the Corvidae family that you want me to draw. Um, take a picture of your own Corvidae's and email me that picture if you want. Uh, ways to do this are found in the description down below. Um, so, Corvidae. I kind of want to do like one of those little diagram pictures. It keeps popping up in my head, you know, where like there's a line that points to this part and says the bill or the nostril or the retina, the eye, the feather, the crown, the whatever parts of the bird. But I'm going to have to look that up and see what, what the different parts of the birds are. That would be informational and educational, and I think I would like that a lot. Anyway, I tell you what, I think this is nearing to the end of the video and that not everything lines up, but I'm going to say goodbye for now and y'all have a good time. Make some art, make a book. Let me know what you think in the description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. So, like I've always said before, it is your turn now to go and make some art. Talk to y'all later.